BrainWise presents Grade 5, Science Quiz B, Part 4 Hold on to your lab coats, explorers! We're diving headfirst into a whirlwind of scientific wonders with 20 electrifying questions! Let the scientific games begin! Number 1 Which of the following is an example of a reversible physical change? Again, which of the following is an example of a reversible physical change? The choices are A. Baking a cake B. Rusting iron C. Melting chocolate D. Burning paper The correct answer is C. Melting chocolate Number 2. What is the opposite of melting? Again, what is the opposite of melting? The choices are A. Boiling B. Freezing C. Sublimation D. Condensation The correct answer is B. Freezing Number 3. Why does ice float on water? Again, why does ice float on water? The choices are A. Ice is denser than water B. Ice is less dense than water C. Ice and water have the same density D. Ice is heavier than water The correct answer is B. Ice is less dense than water. Number 4. What is a precipitate? Again, what is a precipitate? The choices are A. A gas produced during a chemical reaction. B. A solid formed during a chemical reaction. C. A liquid formed during a chemical reaction. D. A change in color during a chemical reaction. The correct answer is B. A solid form during a chemical reaction. Number 5. Why does metal rust? Again, why does metal rust? The choices are A. It reacts with water. B. It reacts with oxygen. C. It reacts with carbon dioxide. D. It reacts with nitrogen. The correct answer is B. It reacts with oxygen. Number 6. Which of the following is an example of a chemical change used in cooking? Again, which of the following is an example of a chemical change used in cooking? The choices are A. Chopping vegetables B. Mixing ingredients C. Frying an egg D. Kneading dough The correct answer is C. Frying an egg. You're a science superstar. You've made it this far. So keep going. Great discoveries await. Let's continue. Number 7. What is energy? Again, what is energy? The choices are A. The ability to do work. B. The color of an object. C. The shape of an object. D. The size of an object. The correct answer is A. The ability to do work. Number 8. What happens to energy during a transformation? Again, what happens to energy during a transformation? The choices are A. It disappears. B. It is converted from one form to another. C. It becomes stronger. D. It becomes weaker. The 
The correct answer is B. It is converted from one form to another. Number 9. What type of energy is stored in a battery? Again, what type of energy is stored in a battery? The choices are A. Kinetic energy B. Potential energy C. Chemical energy D. Nuclear energy The correct answer is C. Chemical energy Number 10 What is the energy source for most living things on Earth? Again, what is the energy source for most living things on Earth? The choices are A. The moon B. The sun C. The wind D. The water The correct answer is B. The sun Number 11 why does water expand when it freezes? Again, why does water expand when it freezes? The choices are A. The molecules move closer together B. The molecules move farther apart C. The molecules change shape D. The molecules disappear The correct answer is B. The molecules move farther apart. Number 12. What is the difference between a crystalline solid and an amorphous solid? Again, what is the difference between a crystalline solid and an amorphous solid? The choices are A. Crystalline solids have a regular, repeating arrangement of atoms while amorphous solids do not. B. Amorphous solids have a regular, repeating arrangement of atoms, while crystalline solids do not. C. Crystalline solids are liquids, while amorphous solids are solids. D. Crystalline solids are solids, while amorphous solids are liquids. The correct answer is a. Crystalline solids have a regular, repeating arrangement of atoms, while amorphous solids do not. Number 13. Why does oil float on water? Again, why does oil float on water? The choices are A. Oil is denser than water B. Oil is less dense than water C. Oil and water have the same density D. Oil is heavier than water The correct answer is B. Oil is less dense than water. Number 14. What is a catalyst? Again, what is a catalyst? The choices are A. A substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed. B. A substance that slows down a chemical reaction. C. A substance that stops a chemical reaction. D. A substance that starts a chemical reaction. The correct answer is A. A substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed. You are doing such a good job! The last few questions are coming up. Remember to breath and think. You can do it! Number 15. What is the role of enzymes in chemical reactions in living organisms? Again. What is the role of enzymes in chemical reactions in living organisms? The choices are A. They provide energy for the reactions B. They act as catalysts to speed up the reactions C. They stop the reactions D. They have no effect on the reactions The correct answer is B. 
They act as catalysts to speed up the reactions. Number 16. Which of the following is a renewable energy source? Again, which of the following is a renewable energy source? The choices are A. Coal B. Oil C. Natural gas D. Solar energy The correct answer is D. Solar energy. Number 17. How does a solar panel work? Again, how does a solar panel work? The choices are A. It converts light energy into chemical energy. B. It converts light energy into electrical energy. C. It converts electrical energy into light energy. D. It converts chemical energy into electrical energy. The correct answer is B. It converts light energy into electrical energy. Number 18. How does a wind turbine work? Again, how does a wind turbine work? The choices are A. It converts light energy into electrical energy. B. It converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. C. It converts electrical energy into kinetic energy. D. It converts chemical energy into electrical energy. The correct answer is B. It converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. Number 19. Why do some substances dissolve in water while others do not? Again, why do some substances dissolve in water while others do not? The choices are A. It depends on the size of the molecules. B. It depends on the shape of the molecules. C. It depends on the polarity of the molecules. D. It depends on the color of the molecules. The correct answer is C. It depends on the polarity of the molecules. Number 20. What type of energy is associated with motion? Again, what type of energy is associated with motion? The choices are A. Kinetic energy B. Potential energy C. Chemical energy D. Nuclear energy The correct answer is A. Kinetic energy. You're a science rock star! You finished the quiz and showed how smart you are! Never stop asking questions and discovering new things! Great job! Smash the like button, share the quiz, and subscribe for the next one! Take care! Until next time! Awesome job! Drop your score in the comments and let us know how you did. Check out other videos from BrainWise.